Welcome back. All right, so I want to talk about jerseys. Ironically enough, I'm not wearing a jersey for this video. Uh, but I want to talk about uh, my AHL jersey collection, which has grown over the last 12 months, over the last 24, especially since the last time I did a video talking about this. So let's just go ahead and, and jump in. So first off, jersey I've had for a while now, San Diego Gulls. And of course, I'm going through alphabetical order. I've got all these jerseys. Uh, the AHL ones I've put in with the NHL ones when I reorganized everything. So uh, yeah, uh, we'll be going from Anaheim's affiliate all the way through until we get to Winnipeg's. Uh, but yeah, so I've got a second Gulls jersey here. This one I like quite a bit. Um, I, I do. I'm not a huge fan of, of wordmark jerseys in general, but this is a little different. The colors are kind of fun, uh, but I, I do like this one a lot. I haven't worn it in a video. I haven't had a reason to. I am hoping to do more AHL videos this upcoming season, so hopefully I can wear some of these. I have some Roadrunners. I, I have plenty of Roadrunners. Uh, I've got three, actually. So I've got the white one. I really do like Roadrunners jerseys quite a bit. Um, I did get the Kachina. The Kachina was a little bit more difficult for me to track down, but I did get it. And I believe I got it through the actual team store. And I got this one here. So mostly the AHL jerseys I get through the AHL shop. They will usually have some sort of a sale on. It was 10%, 15%, 20%. I just keep an eye on the sales and I keep an eye on which jerseys I do and don't have and, and go from there. But uh, I really do like the Kachina Tucson quite a bit. So I start out with the Old Providence, Old Providence Bruins jersey. You can see the old bear there on the shoulder, which of course will likely be adorning the front of the new reverse retro from the Boston Bruins. And then Providence Bruins jersey here, uh, again through the team store. And yeah, I mean, it's it's a little bit lacking in terms of striping and all that, which I have talked about with NHL jerseys before, but it is something a little bit different. And, and I, I, I'm really glad that Boston's had Providence and Providence has had Boston. It's a marriage that seems to work. Of course, I have the Americans. I have the white. I have the blue. I actually have two of the blue ones, but there's such a minor difference between the two blue ones. There's not much point in me bringing the other blue one out for this video, but yes, I have... Two jerseys of the Rochester Americans. I didn't get the red one that was out a couple years ago. I may at some point in time add that, but again, I do have two Rochesters. I'll be needing to get a new Flames AHL jersey this year. It'll actually be a little cheaper because I'll be able to get that in Canada rather than ordering in from the States, where I often have to pay duties. But this is, of course, the Stockton Heat and the Abbotsford Heat. So thus ends the... AHL affiliates for the Flames having the name Heat, but there. So for people who wonder, does he have an Abbotsford? I absolutely have an Abbotsford Heat jersey, and and there it is. They're not the Canes affiliate anymore, but it still looks like a Canes jersey. So here it is, uh, Charlotte Checkers, and I like the logo quite a bit. Uh, again, you know, it's it's really stylized in color after the Carolina jerseys. I'll be interested to see if that changes now that uh, they're no longer. Uh, an affiliate of the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, this still has the tags on it. So, uh, yeah, this jersey I got well over a year ago. Still has the tags on it because I have yet to wear it in a video. Obviously, I, I do take the tags off when I wear I don't understand why people take don't take the tags off hats because I've heard, well, it looks fresh. We don't leave tags on all our other clothing. It'd be weird, wouldn't it? You still got the tag on your Levi's. Yeah, doesn't it look fresh? No, that's not the word I'd use for that. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a, a different transition. I've got the white Rockford Ice Hogs jersey. It's the only one I have of the Ice Hogs. I don't have the other one. I even looked through them like, don't I have? I don't have the other one. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it is sometimes difficult to find all of the AHL jerseys. I would think they'll all come back into stock pretty quickly here. And I will add the other Rockford Ice Hogs jersey. But that logo is fantastic. And then we get into the Chicago Wolves. So Chicago's jerseys. Chicago's jerseys I do put with Chicago because it's just as easy and it feels like the Chicago Wolves change their affiliation regularly. It just feels that way, doesn't it? So uh, yeah, I really like the gray one quite a bit. I think this looks absolutely fantastic. As soon as this was available on the site, I ordered it. Um, I also have the red one and I have the white one, which I accidentally dropped, but I was really, really stealthy, so you may not have noticed. Uh, but yeah, I, I think the gray one's the nicest one of the bunch. But if it was between these two, I don't know. I haven't ranked jerseys this year, so I really don't have any idea. I really had the idea when we moved in here of ranking the jerseys. So having my favorite jersey in that corner, my least favorite jersey down in this corner. Quickly realized when I put this together, no. 
And so that's my answer still, but this one would be pretty high on the list. So if we're ever able to go to a Colorado Eagles game, I think I'm set. First off, we've got this gorgeous one, which looks a lot like an Avalanche jersey, but I really like the logo quite a bit. Then there's the white one. Logo looks really sharp on the white one as well. More colorful on the white than on this one. And then, just for good measure, I have the black one as well. I really do like the black one quite a bit. Uh, again, if I was ranking jerseys, who, who knows? Uh, I, I definitely would have all the AHL ones in there. I think my favorite of the Colorado Eagles is this one. Uh, I, I think it's really nice. But I do like high contrast. It's something that my wife's pointed out that normally what I will like in terms of clothing is something that's really high contrast. So, remember when Columbus was uh, situated in Springfield with their AHL affiliate? This is a jersey I got through, I believe this was through Jersey Baron. Uh, Springfield Falcons, like this one quite a bit. It's in my size. I had looked at it for a while. I pulled the trigger on it. I believe it was the last one they had left. But it's, it's not a bad little jersey. And then also Columbus related, we get into Cleveland. I, again, it's black, it's high contrast. This is very similar to the leaked jersey for the Vegas Golden Knights. So while people have been talking about uh, stealing the, the design from the Canucks, it looks a lot like this, doesn't it? Uh-huh, suspiciously a lot like that. And then there's your, your lock monsters as well. Uh, really a big fan of this, really simple, nice little jersey. But uh, I think of the three, this would be my favorite of the Columbus affiliated AHL jerseys. This is gorgeous. This, <laughs> this is this is so over the top ridiculous with the the stars and stripes being as it is. It is so very very patriotic, and so how could I not have this? Uh, this was one that I found. It was actually on sale on the AHL site, and I grabbed it immediately because I only had the one. Uh, and with Texas Stars, I also have it in green because you, you have to have Texas. I don't have it in white. I've thought about it maybe when they restock in the fall. Uh, I'll see what they've got. But this is this is the real star of the Stars jerseys from the AHL. And that would be the Iowa. The Iowa jerseys are fantastic. So these ones, most of them are way too big for me. This is a 54, so I would swim in this. Uh, this one here, this is gorgeous as well. Uh, something about Iowa jerseys, we'll get into again later. This is also a 54. I got these through Jersey Baron on eBay as well. Um, they do tend to have some really good collectible kind of jerseys. And then just to round out the, the triumvirate, uh, this is also a size 54. Strings are a little odd in this one. But yeah, Iowa stars. So if we ever go to Iowa, we're covered, as you'll see later on. The Griffins did a 25th anniversary jersey this year. I didn't get it. I wasn't a big fan of it. I thought it was kind of bland. Uh, I really, really like their jerseys, though. So whether it's the white one or the black one, you cannot go wrong with the Grand Rapids jer Grand Rapids jersey. And you look at these fantastic logos some of these AHL teams have, and the first question you'd have to ask is, why doesn't the NHL have some of these graphic designers working for them? You could have some fantastic logos. Even on a third, you could have some really, really nice ones if these guys were designing them. I only have one Bakersfield Condors. I apologize. Uh, this is the only one that I have for the Oilers AHL affiliate. And it shows you if they use the colors they had last year and just flipped them, how they'd look in a reverse. And of course, they're going back to their regular colors with the NHL team. I would assume the Condors will as well. And so, yeah, we'll see how that turns out. Thunderbirds. Yep, the Thunderbirds in red or in white. I'm all set. And of course, when you change your, your affiliation to NHL teams, it tends to make the shoulder patches a uh, thing of the past. Uh, one thing is, of course, Springfield Thunderbirds is one that I saw on sale because of the change. So AHL affiliation will, will definitely cause uh, a jersey to go on sale when that affiliation has changed. It's a nice jersey, though. The logo's all right. It does have a similar feel to the Florida Panthers logo as well. So we'll see how things change for Springfield. I have some Springfield jerseys too, don't I? Apparently I only have the one rain jersey. I thought I had two. Apparently I only have one. And I, I like the black logo. If the Kings wanted to do a black logo in this design, on a, I, I think it would be a hit. Uh, it is one of those things that if you don't follow AHL teams, you may not be aware of, of some of the really fun logos and stuff they've got going on and some of the fun designs. But this logo in black really, really pops. If they ever announce a team in Houston... I'm set. Uh, this Houston Arrows, the logo does look really, really nice. This, of course, being when they were Minnesota's affiliate. Again, where to get it? Jersey Baron, because it's an old AHL jersey you can't find anywhere. What size is it? 54, because that's the smallest size. 
One thing with Jersey Baron, they often get jerseys that are designed to be worn over equipment, which, I mean, really jerseys should be anyways, right? Mostly if it's going to be called an authentic. And so, yeah, this Houston jersey is too big for me to wear in a video, but it is, it is gorgeous. And then we get back to Iowa. So is Shannon going to go to Iowa? I, I don't know, but again, if I do... I have enough jerseys to last, including this, this nice, I, I like the white one with the word mark. I do. I think this looks really nice. Again, my relationship with word marks is a little bit touchy, but when it's done right, it looks really nice. And uh, yeah, I really do like what Iowa does with their jerseys. Laval. I do have a Laval jersey. The interesting thing is I got this one on sale because it appears to be that, that like CCM changed designs from where they had the strings like this to where they had just the two strings that don't actually tie. I can't find anything else that was different between the two jerseys. So I got this one relatively cheap-ish, and it is the only Laval jersey that I have, with all apologies. It's Milwaukee's turn. So the only Milwaukee jerseys I have are as follows, home and away. Uh, really pretty basic. A lot of them I got, if I got the white one first, it's because the blue wasn't in stock in my size. If I got the blue one first, it's because they did, and then I get the white one after, because you've got to have the home and the away. Again, in hoping to be able to cover more AHL this coming season. Utica's logo in these colors is perfect. This is absolutely, this is a case where it went from being the Canucks farm team to being the Devils farm team. And I could not be happier for Utica because these, the logo looks absolutely amazing. Comets is one of my favorite names. I was so happy they kept the names, I or the name I should say. I was concerned that they'd go back to Utica Devils from, that was the name they had before. But yeah, Comets, that's an absolutely great name, great logo, and it just suits. As you'll see when I get to the Canucks jerseys, it suits this color scheme better. I tried all year to get a hold of either a Bridgeport Sound Tigers or Bridgeport Islanders jersey. The Sound Tigers jerseys, as soon as they announced the name change, Sound Tigers merchandise was gone off the AHL page immediately. I don't know if it sold out or they just said, nope, they're not the Sound Tigers anymore, and they stopped selling it. Couldn't find it. And then Islanders, I was never able to find a jersey all year. And I figured that was probably supply chain problems. I tried going through the team store. Couldn't find anything other than sweatshirts. I do not have an Islanders AHL affiliate jersey at this point. That should change over the next month or so. So, Rangers, I have a Hartford Wolfpack. Uh, it is it is a bizarre logo for the Wolfpack. I've, I've always thought this is kind of a... It's a jarring logo, which I guess is the idea... Uh, but you have the the submarine on the shoulder there and you have uh, a new york rangers jersey or new york rangers logo on the other shoulder of the jersey so i i do appreciate that it's an it's it's a different design some teams take on the colors of their nhl affiliate some don't the hartford wolfpack have the colors they don't have the stripes so yeah i i do like this though and i i am looking for Hopefully, looking forward to hopefully getting their others as well. But again, uh, this was the only one I was able to find in my size. Belleville did what Ottawa hasn't done. Uh, make a regular jersey out of what was the throwback, right? The the old heritage jerseys for the Ottawa Senators. I really do like this one in white. I like it in red as well. And I like it in black as well. I, I don't think there's a bad color scheme out of the three jerseys. You'll notice a bit of a different neckline. Uh, this one here, I got through the team web or team store. I believe this was through the team store. This is inaugural season. Uh, the other jerseys don't say inaugural season on the shoulder. You will notice a difference in the neckline between the two jerseys. Just minor, but it's there. And yeah, Belleville, there isn't a bad jersey with the Belleville Senators. There just isn't one. I love these jerseys. The The Phantoms are fantastic. I really, really like the logo quite a bit. There's depth there where there isn't. Like, it gives this perceived depth where there really isn't any. The logo is excellent. The striping is fantastic. And it doesn't matter what color it is either. The white one's nice. This one I got on sale because they changed the striping. And the black one's nice too. And on the back of them, is it on all three? It is. All three on the back, the word Phantoms. So, uh, the Flyers affiliate is absolutely... Uh, ahead of the game when it comes to really really sharp looking uh, jersey wear and yeah so if we ever have a reason to go and visit their AHL affiliate I'm set I have three jerseys this was an immediate buy on the AHL store was this absolutely gorgeous third I love that logo so much this again is an example of how if teams tried something new it could really work but of course we're stuck 
going backwards and doing reverse retros and stuff. Uh, this is really a bizarre logo when you think about it, right? So I know Wilkes-Barre has had this for a while, but um, the legs are so tiny and the upper body is so... It, it doesn't look natural. Penguins aren't normally built like that, so I would definitely want him tested. And the eyes, the red eyes, he needs to be tested. Um, this, this is a penguin that knows what's up, and you don't need to test anything with him. He's fine. The Barracuda, fantastic logo, nice design, but no stripes on the bottom. So hopefully when San Jose gets their rebrand-ish, re they're basically bringing, they're doing exactly what I wanted them to do with their jerseys, which is take the old logo, at, or the new logo, and slap it onto the old jersey and be done with it. But we'll see what the Barracuda, uh, what they do as well. But it is nice to have teams in the same cities as their NHL teams. You have your AHL affiliate, NHL affiliate, not affiliate, NHL team in the same city. It just works, and it works for San Jose. I really like the Barracuda logo as well, but I've talked a lot about some nice logos in the AHL, haven't I? I had planned on pre-ordering a, a Firebirds jersey. I didn't get around to it. Of course, the Firebirds are going to be the AHL affiliate for the Seattle Kraken. St. Louis, we've already had a glimpse at what St. Louis's farm team is going to be wearing. And so we get to Tampa Bay where you got the Syracuse Crunch. Uh, the Syracuse Crunch, I, it's it's an odd logo. It just is. I like that they're still called the Crunch. It feels like that's gone on forever. And, of course, the Tampa Bay logo on both shoulders. The striping is very reminiscent of the Reeboks before Adidas took over where you got the striping down the side, which makes it kind of unique as a result because now that every team doesn't have it, you're one of the few that does, you kind of stand out. Now that we're up to Toronto, I'm going to break my own rules a little bit. And I'm going to get into an ECHL franchise as well. Uh, generally, I'm not showing all my ECHL jerseys. I have a few others in the collection that I have not put into this. But uh, we'll start with the Toronto Marlies, a white Toronto Marlies, an old Toronto Marlies. I got this through, right, through uh, uh, Jersey Baron on eBay. And yeah, so Toronto with the Marlies, simple enough. And then there's St. John's Maple Leafs. The St. John's Maple Leafs, this was re-released by the Newfoundland Growlers a couple years ago. And I was like, I have to get that because when I started paying attention to the AHL, when they had an AHL program every week on TSN, hello, uh, the, the show actually talked a lot about the St. John's Maple Leafs, which won't surprise anybody necessarily. But uh, yeah, I, I really do like this jersey quite a bit. Got it through the team store. Uh, then we get to another Toronto Marlies here. This one is... It doesn't actually have the, the logo on the shoulder, so this is the new one. Uh, this one I got through, I, I'm trying to think if it was through the, the Toronto Marlies team store or the AHL store. I want to say the Toronto Marlies team store, because again, you're avoiding paying duties coming across the border, so it doesn't make any sense when it's the same price in the US or in Canada, so why pay the duties if you don't have to? But yeah, Marlies, uh, old fashioned, old logo, everybody likes. Now, since, since I had a St. John's Maple Leafs, I kind of have to have the Newfoundland Growlers in there, don't I? It's just kind of a rule. If you look it up under, um, whatever. You guys can email me about it, I guess, at uh, this is why you guys are way too picky at it, it's not really a big deal dot edu dot au dot cz. So, yeah, um, there you go. Newfoundland Growlers, fantastic jersey. I Is it an excuse for me to get a Newfoundland Growlers jersey in there? No, it's an excuse for me to get two. This is one that was a limited edition. They only made 115 of these. I have number 61 out of 115. So while people were arguing online about how boring it was, all I thought was, holy crap, they've, they were only making 115. That's fantastic because it's the same price as the regular jersey. And it's guaranteed there's only 150, 115 of these in existence. So yeah, absolutely, I should have it, even though it is a word mark. So... I'm going to break the rule again for Vancouver jerseys. I'm going to break it again. Uh, so there's an EC ECHL jersey in here as well. Now we're starting off with Utica Comets. As nice as this looks, as nice as these look, it definitely looks better in New Jersey colors. I have no problem with admitting that Utica is a better marriage with Vancouver for multiple reasons. Geographical being one of them, of course. Um, because Abbotsford is a little bit closer to Vancouver than Utica. But this third jersey, this is absolutely fantastic. This is just out of the park fantastic. 
Utica Comets jerseys and Canucks colors. Last I looked on the AHL store, which is just ahlshop.com, I believe. I think they still have them on sale. I don't think they have this one anymore, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I also have a Kalamazoo K-Wings, which was sent by a subscriber. So I felt like, you know, I should have the K-Wings in there. It is a nice jersey, right? Kalamazoo, you got a word mark there too. A lot of word marks. And then you get into, of course, Abbotsford. So when the Abbotsford Canucks came into the league, of course, I became a season ticket holder, which we still are, because you had a three-year commitment. So for three years, we're season ticket holders at the very least. And I had to have both home and away. So these are these are very nice jerseys. I'm a big fan of, of what they've done and over the Canucks using Johnny Canuck. They, they really needed to use Johnny Canuck, and they did. And they used it here. And if you notice, too, on the sleeve, you can see that there's the letter A on the sleeves, which is a callback to the letter V that the Canucks have had on their sleeves as well over the years. For Vegas, of course, I have a home and away for Henderson. This, this, this color, everything with this jersey, I think is excellent. I would like to see a Vegas Golden Knights jersey in this color with this kind of a design at some point. But hey, if Henderson's the team that's doing it, that's just fine too. Of course, you got your gold in here. You've got your your interesting sleeves that they have. And of course, San Jose has similar sleeve design. Uh, so does Carolina. Those Carolina, it's on their black jersey. And San Jose, of course, it's on the stealth jersey. But I, I like this. Uh, you can see the letter H there with the, the horse head. And Henderson is right next to Vegas. So it is absolutely a perfect marriage as well. Which AHL team has won the most championships? Last I checked, it was the Hershey Bears. So we're into Washington's affiliate, and uh, I'll be darned, but Hershey proving that a brown jersey can look absolutely fantastic. Boston, if you're paying attention, think about it. But yeah, this is uh, obviously, you know, Hershey, Hershey's chocolate and all that. You kind of have to have a brown jersey there. And I really like this. Now, of course, there's no hint of who their NHL team is. That's perfectly fine. I don't have a problem with that. Same as the Chicago Wolves. I think that's perfectly fine. What matters is not what the jersey looks like. It's how well you develop players. And Hershey's done a pretty good job of it. And they've won a lot along the way. And they've looked pretty darn good doing it. This is, honestly, if this was an NHL level jersey and logo, I don't think anybody would complain. I think it would be seen as one of the nicer designs in the National Hockey League. And last but not least, to round it out, the Manitoba Moose. So the Manitoba Moose currently wearing the uh, colors of the Winnipeg Jets. The St. John's Ice Caps, who preceded them, did the same. Uh, I really like the St. John's Ice Caps logo quite a bit. Um, I was lucky enough to find this one and say, hey, sure, I'll take that. And so I'm glad I have it. I, I really do like this. And again, for St. John's, if I ever come down there, I've got some jerseys for St. John's. I have family in St. John's. It's pretty much criminal. I haven't been back there in so long. But uh, if I decide to come back there, I can have Maple Leafs. I can have the Growlers. I can wear... Uh, white or the white caps ice caps white caps would be vancouver vancouver white caps but the one thing with the manitoba moose and again jersey baron has helped me out with this is getting the black and the white in the colors they had before uh, the winnipeg jets uh, ended up taking their colors and planting them over top of the logo i i much prefer the original colors i much prefer the original colors for the manitoba moose i think it looks fantastic and it's one of those things where if if the current Moose team decided that they were going to take this jersey here and turn the logo back, I mean, it's not even to me, it's not even close. This this one's a Moose. I, I'm not sure what this one is. This is like it's like something out of Game of Thrones or kind of like it almost almost kind of sort of resembles the Luck Dragon, right? Never ending story. But no, um, I I do prefer this one. I think the logo suits the color scheme better, and it just it looks really nice. But there you go, my AHL jerseys. Some, some ECHL thrown in there as well. Thank you guys so much for all your support, of course. And as you can see, I'm wearing the WCK West Coast Kids Cancer Foundation t-shirt today. So if you feel like hopping over to the West Coast Kids website and drop them some money because they, they do provide money for a good cause and tell them THG sent you. So there you go. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through you just happened upon this video. I will talk to you again soon.